Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! Dem demonstrator. Thanks for joining me today. There are just a few days left of celebration. I do not have a celebration item to show you, but you can go to my, um, my online store. You can look at all the different ones. We featured quite a few of these over the last um, month or so. Um, but today I want to show you a card that we did in class this month um, using the Ice Cream Swirl Bundle. It's a stamp and die set. Now we've had stamps and dies in the past. This one, super, super cute. It's a little bit different. So let me show you the card and give you a little, a couple tips and tricks. So my card base, I'm doing a, a, a bottom or front opening card like this. Um, I have cut this four inches wide. So this is not your standard five and a half by four and a quarter. It is five and a half by four inches wide. Now, the designer paper I'm using, the lighter than air designer paper in the, in the spring mini catalog is six by six. Now, if I could do a full card front and that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this so it fits fully on my card. I could do it four and a quarter and it would fit just fine, but I wanted a little bit left over for my envelope flap. Um, and if I cut this four and a quarter wide, this is gonna be too narrow to use on my, on my flap. So I just went ahead and cut down my card to four, and then that gives me a two full inches here to use on my, my envelope flap. So let's do that. So we're gonna cut this four inches. Right. And we'll save that for our envelope. And this needs to be five and a half. Now I tend to want to cut it a little bit longer, like five and five and five eighths, just in case sometimes, you know, cardstock wants to be a little bigger or a little shorter than uh, you know it should be. So what I'm going to do is just it lines up perfectly, covers the whole front. And make sure it's lined up right at the top so I'm not gonna see any white. And then if I have a little bit left over at the bottom, I can trim that off very easily. So I think I'm going to use a little liquid glue here. Very thin. You wanna put this on thin. Not quite to the edge. You don't want it to squeeze out of the paper. Then we get gluey fingers and just a small amount right in the middle, not much. The more glue you use, the thicker and stiffer your card is gonna be. And that is not the goal. But I like that here because putting on a whole card front can be a little tricky using the seal adhesive. So using that liquid glue gives us a little bit of wiggle room in case we don't, uh, and a couple seconds in case we don't get it put on just perfectly straight. All right, then I'm gonna trim this off. Just with my scissors. Whatever extra I have hanging over. Okay, so that's our card front. And then we can use, where's my envelope? We can use this to decorate our envelope flap. I said I was gonna be decorating my envelopes and the insides of my cards. Now, it does leave a little bit at the bottom still, but we can easily cut that off. That glue goes, you know, three quarters of an inch in. So there's plenty of room to trim this and keep our adhesive. And then I just kind of take it and round it a little bit to come here, go straight across. Get my thumb out of the way. Round that just a little bit, and there's still plenty of glue to seal that envelope. But if I had cut another quarter of an inch, you can see I would not have had enough glue to seal it. So that is just one little tip, you know, one little trick when you're cutting a full card front. Okay, so we can set our envelope aside. I'm gonna set that aside. Now we're going to cut a nice big ice cream cone. So I've already pre-cut kind of my ice cream top, um, and that's using bubble 
bath. <laughs> and then I've got um, this great sparkly bubble bath paper. It's in the annual catalog. And I'm gonna die cut. We have this detail cone that goes on top of this that's gonna have um, punch out. So we can get this gorgeous sparkly piece to our ice cream. Let's see if, I hope, okay, that should fit. That paper should fit. This, we've all, we also did this in the, um, is it Lost Lagoon? I don't know, the mint, um, I, it looked like mint, but I think it was Lost Lagoon. Okay, so we're gonna pull out all those little extra pieces, but while I have this, we're gonna cut our cone. So I'm using Crush Curry, and this cone, it's a double cone, it's so cute because you can number one, cut out two at a time if you want, but this just scores it so that when you cut this out, it can fold over and then open up like a little tag. Um, right now I'm just using it as a bottom cone or using one half of it. And then this piece fits in, it makes that great ice cream cone texture. So we're going to just put this in. So that embosses while the outside cuts. And then look how that folds right there. So if we wanted to, we could uh, fold that, put our ice cream up here, and then have a cute little tag that opens up. I love that. We're not doing that, we don't need it. So um, I'm just gonna trim off a little bit here. I'm gonna leave a little to glue my ice cream to. Now, a tip on here, this is big. This is a big ice cream. And I don't want it to go past my card because it's not gonna fit in my envelope. So if I did it normal, that would go too far. So it needs to come down on your ice cream cone a bit. It needs to cover the second layer of little, little lines. Uh, before I glue that on, I think I'm gonna pull out all these extra pieces. Now this, this little glimmer paper, you have to remember, has this kind of backing on it. So we have to be careful pulling that out that we don't tear. And these lines are very thin, so just be careful when you're taking out these pieces that you don't tear that. That happened to me once, so I try to be aware. Okay, look how cute that is. Look how cute and sparkly. All right, let's just use little bits of glue to adhere this to the bubble bath. This comes, this one comes out faster, this glue. I don't want much glue on my little lines, but I gotta adhere them down so they don't flap or get caught on things. Let me just steal a little bit of that and put it on there. Use some of that extra glue. Okay. Hopefully that will be enough. All right. Glue this down. So cute. Okay, let's glue it to our ice cream cone. And remember, we want to come down past that top row of lines, and we want to make sure that our ice cream fits on our card. Perfect. Okay. We are going to take now a little bit of string. I'm using the coral from the Baker's Twine three pack. I'm going to put it, there's like a little notch right on that ice cream cone to hold that string right in place. And tie a bow. Now, if you could use any of the colors in the twine pack, it has yellow, I think it's lemon lolly, calypso coral, and bashful blue, not bashful blue, balmy blue. <laughs> I'm dating myself here. Okay, so I just tied a little bow right there. We're gonna pop this up with some dimensionals. I'm just putting three. It's not gonna go anywhere. 
I know some of you would put like six, but really it's not gonna go anywhere. Three is plenty. Look, see, not going anywhere. Okay, now we're gonna put a sentiment. So I have a little banner I have cut from the Stylish Shapes, which is a must have die set. And I'm using Calypso Coral to match my string. And I'm just gonna do, I hope your day is sweet. You can see we use blue, blue this month. My stamps are dyed blue. I'm gonna stamp it over to the left. Isn't that cute? Let's go ahead and stamp our inside word. It says, make a wish. Perfect birthday card. Make a wish right there. Um, usually I do my inside, but I'm not. Eh, we're just going to go with this. I don't want if the other images on here. We have the ice cream top, but we have like a, a little twill stick. We have a donut strawberry cherry um i don't want to color anything so i'm just gonna i'm gonna let that go as is and then i'm going to trim off the right side I'm just gonna use you can use your trimmer or you can just use your the side of your card i believe in quick easy things so the side of my card is what i'm going to use i'm putting my dimensionals on i'm going to overlap this end so i'm not putting one there and then just line this up with the edge of my card, just like that. And last but not least, we're going to um, use a couple of dots from our, this matches the designer paper, rainbow adhesive back dots. Come in so many colors. And this month I said, if you just use whatever color you want, make sure it stands out. Now, this is a lot of dots. Dots are probably not gonna stand out on that, so I am going to, because it's, there are dots, and if I stick a dot right there, you're not even gonna see it. See, you're not gonna see that. I'm gonna put my two dots right there. They're, they're kind of a, a pale orange, so they match with my coral. I have one big kind of coral, but I only have one, and I need two. So I'm gonna leave that by itself, and then use the lighter colored ones right there. Or, you know what, I think, I'm not feeling those dots. I'm gonna put those back and I'm gonna do the pink to match my ice cream. That's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Okay, I like that. Feeling that better. Okay, that's it. That's it for today. Super quick and easy card. Very cute. And this is the ice cream swirl bundle. So I will post measurements and supplies on my blog. I hope you enjoyed today's project. Don't forget that uh, just a few days left of celebration. It ends the 29th. That's the last day. And then next month, we're going to have um, some online exclusives premiering. We're going to have two new kits, um, all kinds of stuff happening in March. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's projects, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.